Hi everybody, I hope you're well. In today's video, I'm going to talk to you about one of the best lenses that I know for creating flare. It's what all the photographs that you're looking at now were taken with. It's also one of the cheapest lenses you will ever buy, and the chances are you've never heard of it. So, let's crack on. So, a few days ago on my Instagram, I asked people to guess what lens I used to take this photograph with. Lots of people guessed, but only a few got it right. And the answer is with this lens, the Helios 44-2 58mm. And in this video, I'm going to talk to you about how, in certain lighting conditions, this little lens can give you awesome images. So if you've watched my channel before, you will know that I very rarely, if ever, do review videos. So if you want to know about all the technical information about this lens, then this is not going to be the video for you. But what I will tell you is, as a working wedding photographer who goes out and shoots weddings most weekends, exactly how I use this lens at weddings in real life. The other thing just to mention is that all the still photographs that you see in this video were taken today with this lens. Now, I don't know much about the Helios lens, but I do know that production of these lenses started in Russia in the 1950s, I believe. And from what I can read online, this particular version was probably made in the 1970s. And even though there's a good chance that you haven't heard of them, they are actually one of the most mass produced lenses ever made. And because of that, there's lots of them available. And because there are so many out there, they are also very cheap. I bought this one a couple of years ago for only $49 off eBay and I looked this morning and found some that were even cheaper than that. One thing to note though is that the Helios uses the M42 mount which basically means if you want to use it on a Sony, Canon or Nikon or many other camera brands you're also going to need to use an adapter. I have this one which is made by Newer. This basically just screws onto the Helios lens like this and this turns the M42 mount into the Sony E mount which means that I can use it on my a9. Again, the good news though is that the adapters are fairly cheap. This was only about £12 off Amazon. So when you add them both together, the lens for $49, this for £12, that is absolutely nothing when you consider how much modern day camera equipment can cost. Now this lens is not going to come out well if it's compared against a modern lens. But let's be honest, it's extremely cheap, so it's really unfair to compare this against a Sony G Master or a Canon L series lens. It isn't even trying to compete with those lenses. The reason that I like this lens is because of its imperfections. I'm not going to call this a novelty lens, but this is not a top quality lens. It's not even trying to be. It's not going to give you technically incredible images. It's also not at all easy to use. It's completely manual, so focusing is not easy, and it gives very, very unpredictable results. But that is the whole fun of it. Modern cameras with modern lenses, I think, can sometimes be so good that they can actually take away some of the fun of photography. This Helios lens puts the fun back. Think of it like a Polaroid camera. Technically, the image quality of a Polaroid is pretty rubbish, let's be honest, but there's something really special about a Polaroid at the same time, and it's exactly the same with the images which come out of this lens. So see this lens for what it is. It's a fun, cheap little lens which gives really unpredictable results. But if you like unpredictability, then you may well love this lens. Now it seems that most people like this lens because it gives really cool bokeh. In fact, the reason that I found out about this lens in the first place is because I was researching what lenses give the best bokeh. And as you can see here, the bokeh is really cool. But so far at weddings, I haven't been using this to maximize its bokeh. I've only used it at sunset to get the cool flare, which this video is all about. But having used it on tonight's shoe and looking at these images, I definitely will use it now for couple portraits because I do really like this bokeh. There's something really special about it, I think. So let's talk about the main reason I love this lens. And as I say, that is the cool flare that it gives you when the sun is very low in the sky. 
One of the things I find really frustrating about modern lenses is that they're just too good. And by that, I mean that they're just too perfect. Lenses now are designed to minimize flare, but maybe it's just because I'm a wedding photographer, but I want the exact opposite. I love flare and try and get that within my images wherever I can. Now I've never owned a Canon camera, but to my knowledge, the Canon 50mm 1.2 is an incredible lens for flare, as are a couple of others. But to my knowledge, there are no native lenses for Nikon or Sony that I know of that give good flare. And that's such a shame. So if any camera manufacturers are watching this video, forget about all this lens coating stuff that you put on lenses. Make a lens which allows crazy lens flare and I guarantee that you will make a fortune. Probably all off wedding photographers. So far, whenever I've used this lens at weddings, it's been for sunset portraits of the couple. And that is because, as I say, when the light is low, this lens gives you awesome sun flare. Now, the reason that I've come out to this location to film this video is because right about now, we should have been having an amazing sunset over there. This is the Northwest of England. This is the sunset that we often do get. So I can't give you a live demonstration of the flare that comes out of this lens. But what I will do is go back a few days and show you this comparison. So this is how the Helios 44-2 58mm lens compares when it comes to flare to the Sony 35mm 1.8 and the Sony 85mm 1.8. And as you can see, the Helios lens just lets in so much more lens flare. And as I mentioned earlier, whenever I've used this lens at weddings so far, it's been for sunset portraits of the couple. And that is because, as you saw in the comparison, when the light is low, this lens gives you awesome flare. If the sun is too high, it won't work. So you have to wait until the sun is low, but when it's low, this lens is absolutely brilliant. But just in case I've made this lens sound like the holy grail, just remember that it is fully manual. So focusing, especially when you're shooting people who obviously move about is not easy at all. So expect to take an awful lot of shots to make sure that you get one that is sharp. But as I say, it's a fun lens. It's not a lens that you're going to use very often, but the times that you do use it, I think you might really like it. So just before I finish this video, I wanted to very quickly just talk about my new Patreon account. The Patreon is now where I'm going to be putting all my efforts when it comes to giving out wedding photography advice, training. Basically, that's where all my online training things are going to live. If you do join the Patreon, you're going to get instant access to lots of Patreon-only videos, including a half an hour video where I talk you through my preset in its entirety and talk to you about how you can recreate that preset to edit your own images, a half an hour video where you watch me using brushes within Lightroom. You'll also get access to a private Facebook group where you can ask me any questions you may have and that's already building into a really fantastic community of wedding photographers from all around the world. And you'll also receive early access to every single video that I make. So every video that I make for YouTube gets posted on Patreon first. So you're going to get all that. The link is in the description. As I say, go and have a look, see what you think. But if you do like the advice that I give and you find my advice, advice useful, I think you're going to get a lot of value out of the Patreon. So thank you very much again for watching and I will see you next time.